Uh, in this video, we're going to work out this limit. We have the limit of the absolute value of x minus 2 over x minus 2, and we're going to approach uh, 2. So to figure this out, first just recall the definition of absolute value. It's x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's minus x if x is less than 0. So let's apply that uh, to what we have here. So we have the absolute value of x minus 2 over x minus 2. So I'm just going to apply it to the x minus 2 part. So it'll be x minus 2 over x minus 2, which is 1. If x is greater than or equal to 0, and it'll be minus x minus 2. Oops, x minus 2 greater than or equal to 0. Minus x minus 2 over x minus 2 if x minus 2 is less than 0. So that's minus 1. So if we're approaching from the left, doing this really quickly, um, that means x is less than 2, or x minus 2 is less than 0, so we use negative 1. So this whole thing here simply becomes negative 1, so you get negative 1. And if you approach from the right, the absolute value of x minus 2 over x minus 2 is equal to the limit as x approaches 2 from the right, and this is just 1, and so we get 1. So the answer is D and E does not exist because the one-sided limits uh, are different, uh, and so this limit does not exist. So that is the answer to this question. <laughs> so we're asked to find the limit, and it turns out that the limit does not exist because the one-sided limits um, are unequal, right? So they're act they actually exist, uh, but they are different. So... Yeah, I hope it's been helpful. Take care.